Hello Pisces and welcome to Spiritual Wellness Tarot for your February overall energy reading. We're going to go ahead and pull one card for the overall energy for the month and then we'll clarify what else we need guidance on. Angels and Spirit Guides, give me one card for Pisces for their overall energy for the month, please. Just one card for the overall energy for the month of February, Angels and Spirit Guides. Just give me one card here. Now, Pisces, I do want to thank you for stopping by and for all of your love, your likes, your comments. I totally feel, you know, the love that you're sending and the blessings that we have. And I hope you feel the blessings that I am sending back to you also. All right, we're going to take that card right there. Oh, snap the moon. Very nice, right? Got some got some um, issues coming up. You're going to trust your intuition of what's coming up here. Now, I do ask if um, this reading does resonate with you, Pisces, please go ahead and, and leave a like and a comment. And if you have not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. I would really appreciate that. And hit that bell so you go ahead and receive the notifications of new videos coming in. Now, if you're new, I do want to let you know that I do not read reversals. I read strictly intuitively. So we're going to go ahead and see what else we have coming through here. Angels and spirit guides, I just need two more cards for our Pisces, please. Just two more cards for our Pisces. All right, two of cups. And the Knight of Air or the Knight of Swords. All right, let's get you all in the camera view here. All right. So the overall energy that we have for the month of February for you, Pisces, is the moon. And we know as your water sign, right, that, that you are very intuitive anyways, right? But definitely your intuitions are going to be stronger this month, right? And it's going to be the end of, end of um, Mercury retrograde. So grab on, to those, grab on to those intuitions that are coming to you. Listen to those intuitions, right? You've got, you've got the sun and the moon here. You've got your animals that are looking up to them. It's time for you to definitely tune in to that intuition, We've got the three of pentacles, teamwork, collaboration, quality work, right? The power of creativity. It might be time for, for you to make some changes, right? Become creative. Be a team player. Maybe ask and see if you have anybody else that wants to go ahead and help you with the new project, right? It's always nice to have a partner or have, have a team working with you, right? And even if you are, you know, you have a business, say you're self-employed, you still need a team around you, right? Um, I've been self-employed for years, but one of my team members is my accountant because I do not like to do accounting stuff. I don't like to keep track of things. When I had payroll, I don't like to do the payroll. I don't like to do my taxes, all of that, right? So, so my accountant is part of my team that I have. So think about it. You know, what, what is something that you have in your business that is not quite the favorite thing for you to do, right? It might be accounting. It might be, um, you know, payroll. It might be something, you know, whatever is works with you. You might not like to clean up, right? You might like to build a fence, but you don't want to have to pitch tools away, right? So think about teamwork as not in you needing help or anything um, in a bad way, but for you making you complete, right? Your team members can make you complete, if that makes sense to you. Let me know if that makes sense to you in the in the comments below. Then we have, we have the hangman. I love the hangman. You know why? Because he makes us, he doesn't make us, right? But <laughs> he helps us look at things in a different view. Look at, look at a project with different eyes, right? Look at a project with, um, with just a whole different perspective. And so that's what this is, that's what this is saying is that you may have a new creation coming up, whether that be um, a business, a side hustle, um, it could be a new a new love relationship, right? 
and you're not quite sure if that's if that's what you want or not the hangman helps us he can if we allow him to we can go ahead and use our intuition look around right instead of looking just straight forward at a project maybe open up our views for a different perspective then we've got the two of cups which is again about a partnership right it's a it's a proposal um, so with our partnership here, with being a team, a team player, you've got, you know, you've got the positive way of bringing people to you, right? Allow those people into you so they can help you in a positive way. Then we have the Knight of Air, Knight of Swords, who is, you know, all about changing lives, right? A fast talker. It's actually the Knight of Swords is the fastest knight in the in the amount of suits, in the, in the knights that we have in the different suits, right? Events are going to happen in great speed. Things are going to happen fast. Trust your intuition, though. Listen to them. Get that creative solution going on. Let's go ahead and clarify these cards here. For Pisces, let's go ahead, angels and spirit guides, let's clarify these cards for Pisces. Let's go ahead and clarify these cards. All right, so we've got that one right there. We've got this one right here. Oh, the magician, very nice. Two more, please. Two more for Pisces. Two more. Thank you. And I just need one more. One more for clarifying. Thank you so very much. Oh, we got two on this one. Okay. Ace. Oh, nice. Ace of Swords and the Star. The judgment. All right. So with the with the three of air, who's all about teamwork, right? Quality work. We have the nine of wands, and the nine of wands is all about boundaries, right? They're very persistent, but they like to keep their boundaries, and so that's what I was talking about with team players, right? Sometimes we can let go of those boundaries and let somebody in that's going to help you that's going to help complete your team going to help complete your business right so definitely look for somebody that's going to be coming into your life trust them right feel them how does your instinct feel with them pisces when that person comes in what kind of feeling do you get in the gut trust your instincts and it's going to be a, it'll be a good change for you we have the magician along on top of the hangman. The magician is all about turning a vision into reality, right? And what is that vision going to be? Well, with the hangman, it's going to be something that you had not thought about before, I can bet, right? I can, I, if you've got something, remember how we talked about kind of tunnel vision, right? You look straight forward, open up and look at different things. You notice how the magician here has the pentacles, the cups, the swords and the wands, all of your suits, right? So he is visualizing different things turning into a reality. So trust yourself, trust the new beginnings that are coming to you. We've got the um, two of cups with the judgment. Okay, so we talked about the two of cups, right? Two of Cups is all about a partnership, proposals coming to you, right? And then on top with the judgment here, it is time for you to go ahead and have that clarity, right? Have that rebirth, have that wake up call. And with this, you're going to go ahead and become successful and see how he's, you know, we've got this angel here, right? And he is telling these people, come out of your stinking thinking, come out of your negative thoughts, right? And become whole, become the person, come with clarity enjoy a new project grab that proposal that is coming to you because it is going to end up really really well with this star right here so rise up to a new beginning all right pisces and then the last couple cards we have here of course we talked about the night of air fast moving right really fast moving events are going to happen you've got the star and the ace of swords the star is, again, inner clarity, balance, pleasure, right? Time for you to move forward, time for renewal. And with this Ace of Swords, new ideas, new clarity, mental clarity. Wow, this is just, this is just wonderful, Pisces, because you've got, 
you've got your intuition, right? We know about the intuition. I'm, I'm a cancer. I'm a water sign also. We know we have that intuition, right? We know what's right and what's wrong. Definitely know your boundaries, but don't let your boundaries hold you back. Be the magi magician. Come out with new possibilities. Turn that vision into reality so you can be the star, so you can be recognized, so you can be fulfilled. So for your overall energy, Pisces, trust your intuition, right? Just trust your intuition. It's time for you to go ahead and move forward for the proposals that are coming. This is beautiful, Pisces. This is just wonderful. Definitely trust your intuition this month. All right, Pisces, you have a fabulous February. I love you all. Until next time, namaste.